Flag and Homes is two distinct sides. It's the construction of houses on site, but also we have a factory where we manufacture timber frame housing, prefabricated houses. Um, we work across UK and Ireland. We're looking for a system that collects and manages and reports. So we went out to the market and we looked at various things, but they tend to be very complex. You have to have a lot of engagement with the suppliers for these things. You know, I think the Kianda system looked like something that would allow us to just replace the collection of the information, manage the information and get it out for reporting in a very quick and efficient way. So I think one of the, the key factors of when we're looking at the Kianda was that there's the no code part, the rapid development, but also there's a lot of links to other systems that it'll do. So we can link it to our SharePoint, we can link it to our SQL. We've got several solutions working. So we have a thing called a snagging process. And traditionally our snagging process has been that a site manager walks around a house when it's finished, looks for anything wrong. What that wasn't giving us was any traceability. It wasn't giving us any information about who was causing the problems, where the most problems were. So what we did was create this multi-stage app. What happens is that the site manager just goes out to the property, takes the picture, says, right, where are I in this house, this date, this is the problem, and this is the type of problem. Um, they're immediately starting to record stuff that we weren't recording in any managed way before. We're getting pictures that are associated with a problem, knowing when they happened, rapid development, getting our information together, replacing all those bits of paper and spreadsheets that are the bane of every IT person's life. I know it's easy to work. You just drag and drop design stuff and all the code happens in the background. You don't have to worry about it. If you're using the traditional methods, you have to have the full specification. You have to have the contracts agreed. You're working with different developers, teams external to your organization. With the no code, you know, you can do it in-house. You need some technical ability, you need to understand where to, well, how to use the thing, but you're not having to code anything.